everyone, my name is Karina and I'm the Director of Education here at the Fairbanks Museum. Before we dive into the fun stuff, I do want to let you know that we do require masks here at the museum. We do offer them here in case you forget. Um, we have them for sale at the store. But for the purposes of this video, me and my friend Sarah are not going to be wearing masks, but I can assure you that we are being safe and as soon as we're done with this video, we will be putting our masks back on. Now, I would like to reintroduce you to a fun project that we brought to you a few months ago. It's called the Eco Critter Challenge. Now, this time, we teamed up with Aquarome Aquarium, which is our local pet store here in St. Johnsbury, to bring you some really cool live animals that I'm going to introduce to you throughout this video series. We're back in our education classroom at the museum, and this is where we teach school groups all sorts of cool stuff. And we brought you this cool rat. So rats are mammals, and they're part of a group called rodents. And other types of creatures that are different rodents are chipmunks and squirrels, mice, porcupines, beavers. And they have something all in common that they have these cool two long front teeth. Beavers are very popular for having those, um, but all rodents have them and their teeth grow forever. They keep growing, unlike ours. Ours stop growing. But rodents, um, they need to chew on things to kind of file their um, teeth down, kind of like we file our nails down. They have to file their teeth down. So that's why they chew on things. Their teeth are so strong, these rats, so they can like even, um, they can even chew through metal, which is kind of cool. Mammals, obviously, are types of creatures that have fur covering their bodies, nice soft fur. Um, different types of mammals have different types of hair or fur, so sheep like um, like you might find on a farm have like a woolly type fur or hair. And we're even mammals, we have hair covering our body. Even though you can't see it necessarily, we have tiny little hairs all over our body. Now rats have super long tails and they have tiny little claws to help them climb around. They are omnivores, which means they eat both plants and animals, but they're kind of opportunistic feeders, which means they kind of can survive on eating anything. So that's why oftentimes in cities you'll see rats um, digging through garbage and stuff. They're just looking for scraps to eat. Um, another cool thing about rats is that they are, uh, they can actually swim which is super cool. And that's why in cities they survive really well because they can go down in the sewers and they can actually swim in there. So I'm gonna place this guy back in here and you guys can come closer and take a, take a closer look at how this guy moves around. All right, I hope you enjoyed meeting my friend here. We'll see you next time. Hi, my name is Sarah, and I'm one of the AmeriCorps members here at the museum, and I wanted to show you one of the eco art critters I made from materials I had at my house. So I made a rat, and I used a lot of newspaper. So I made the fur out of newspaper, and the ears, and even the tail. I decided to paint mine, but you could use any materials that you have at home. And I also added the teeth with some paper, and it's made out of a plastic bottle. You can also make an eco art critter out of natural materials. Here I used a rock, some pine cones, and a stick so that it had fur and a long tail. Come visit us at the museum to make your own eco